Alliance Wars is here, and Shuri is coming soon. So we're going to talk about this video is the Shuri Legendary Event, which is right around the corner. We've got data mines with dates and information on that. Most oh, importantly, yeah. we're going to talk about how to get Shuri and what she's going to be good for. And then we're going to talk about Alliance Wars Ooh. with the Valley Maniac. Ooh, yeah, Ready? brother. Let's how are you this. liking Alliance Wars so far? I'm liking it. I think it's a very fun mode. I think their intent was to get more interaction between you and your alliance, and yes, they've done that perfectly. I'm having fun with it. I, I like the uh, attack. I like the strategy. I like I like the challenge of finding these rooms. It's like a puzzle that you got to find. Yep. I like it. Yep. I like there's it. Definitely you find the best ones. And there's different levels of complexity to it. I mean, I think if you want to get deep, 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 deep into it and be an alliance leader and get involved with that and coordination, there's a bunch of stuff. Um, let's just talk about the official nudes before we get into the data mine. All right. they, they, <laughs> they acknowledge there's been some challenges with alliance war matchmaking. Have you experienced that yourself? Not myself, but I've heard about it from a lot of people. They're just getting mismatched. Um, yeah, so that that really sucks if you get mismatched. I don't know. I don't know how to get a good match for Cabal or Hulk though. So <laughs> some, go. somebody's gonna have Alliance, to get that once in a while. <laughs> Alliance War website and uh, link will be down in the description. I suggest anybody going and take a look at this for an overview of how Alliance Wars works. It's pretty uh, thorough with the briefing. And then it has tabs. It's a beautiful website. I don't know. Do you have a chance? You looked at it. You said it's pretty it. basic it. stuff, but you yeah, liked it. This is this is very good for people still trying to figure out Alliance Wars, not sure how everything works. Uh, if you've been playing it for a while, you kind of know all this stuff already. But if, if you're still trying to figure it out, this is excellent. Well done. Very well done. Yeah. There's a lot of subtle things in here, too, that yeah. I would suggest anybody taking a look at. Good stuff. Nice website. Uh, Ms. Marvel campaign event is currently Woo! running. Um, boy, let's talk about the Gamma Raid featuring Juggernaut. Are you excited <laughs> to get more Juggernauts? Uh, I, are you excited to be doing two raids in a day and doing oh Alliance yeah, Wars at the I same time? It, baby. Oh, oh my god, and a Blitz, Woo! and a Blitz. Oh, I can do, play this game war, 24 everything, hours everything. a day. I don't need to sleep or eat anymore. It's no, great. This, this is life. We've talked about this, right? <laughs> Uh, but goodness, uh, right? look, the Juggernaut raids, it's its a double-edged sword like we talked about. It's uh, its good. We need those resources. I want the shards. I'm very close to uh, finishing the shards for him, so I need a few extra. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, the time commitment on these raids. It's not like Ultima 6 where you, where you could just go in with good teams. you got It's a trait-based one. Are you complaining so we're going to release Ultima 7 if you're complaining? We need to make it even more time. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's do it. <laughs> no. Okay. Yeah, it the is. time sink is real, man. <laughs> Alliance Wars three times a week is a lot it of is. time, and then double raids. And if you choose to do Blitz, I can't even imagine how much time you could play this game every day. Uh, lot, but we really need the gold for the the Gamma, what do you call them, the Alphabet Raids, like the Gamma Raid. The alphabet Pretty important <laughs> to get that gold orbs when you hit to 60%. Yeah. You know, it's fairly significant amount of resources. So Especially I'll take with Captain that. Marvel. Captain Marvel, right? Oh, whoa, whoa there's okay. one more thing. The Gamma Rays, that means Dr. Doom is coming back, right? Oh, I guess. Yeah. I can't remember <laughs> which one he was in. back in the game, baby. I think yeah. it was. I don't know. Okay. M'Baku Blitz is currently running, and they're going to run it again. I know that you love the Blitz modes, and you go all out on that. And then they are saying in the data mines two things, that Okoye will be the Blitz following let's go over yep. to discord and take a look at that in the data mine uh talks about akoye coming inside of a blitz and having orbs what are your thoughts about that it's pretty much just released the same way as killmonger same way as mbaku so um i wish they would have done a little more creative but uh it's 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 nice you know get the for the people that want to spend money you could buy the orbs the week earlier the people wanted that want to do the blitz they could play it that following week um I, I like the way they released it. They, they okay. first started this with Mordo. I think it's a good release method. Speaking of creative, uh, to celebrate the launch of the best Marvel movie ever made, probably ever? the biggest movie of the year, uh, maybe, what's going to happen? Maybe it'll break the even Shuri more records. The legendary event Ooh, is going to yes! coordinate with that. Yes. That is some marketing expertise, my friends. That is how you do yeah. it. I don't understand this. Okay, so there's three <laughs> things I don't understand about this. Shuri, uh, Shuri which is Black Panther's sister, yes. so what, on a movie that came out a year ago. Good movie, but it came out a year ago. Um, is going And Black Panther's not going to be the lead in the legendary character. Shuri no. is. And to unlock Shuri is going to be 
uh, highly ties into that movie, the Spider-Verse characters. Oh, yeah. Farm your green goblin every single day. Get your carnage out of the Alliance War stores. And then it's going to launch on, that's right, April 25th at the exact same time that I'm going to be to the opening of Endgame. Hype, yes. insanity, it all makes sense. Are what are your you thoughts about this, Valley Are you going to be this in the movie theater? Are you going to be getting sh unlocking Shuri while you're watching Endgame? Uh, I might take a, <laughs> a break. They, they they frown upon that in movie theaters uh, using your phone, you know. But it's for Shuri, though. They can't frown on Shuri. For Wakanda, forever. Yes. Wakanda forever, baby. She might be the savior of all of Endgame. Yeah. Is um, that, is you know, that this what is, this is hinting? I don't know, man. This <laughs> this is that of mine. I, I really thought that this would have come like right around now, like earlier in the month. Yeah. Uh, you know, mid month maybe, Seems a and more then fitting. something exciting. Not that this is not exciting, but something over the I'm top. Excited. Yeah, for for Endgame, you know, I I don't know because you know I'm pretty hyped about this movie. I I've, I was talking to you about like I yeah. was up at eight in the morning to get my tickets and Fandango crashed. I had to drive to the movie theater, um, and you know I, like it was like nine in the morning, nine thirty in the morning, buying my tickets. I had to sit in the very front row, uh, look up, break my neck looking up because they were all sold out and. Um, if it, if it's going to be a Shuri event for this game, I guess I don't know. I'm just saying I don't know. Maybe so. It's what just you're my... saying is on the movie that is so big that it breaks Fandango to mm. promote that movie. We're getting Shuri. We're gonna have a Shuri. Event. We're getting Shuri. So good, good yeah. stuff. I like it. I like it. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Uh, there's going to be a rework to Dark Dimension, and uh, we talked about it in your video. My number one tip for Dark Dimension is uh, two words, load up, baby: uh, defenders or shield, and press autoplay, and then maybe get in the car and go do something or yeah. drive down to Starbucks. I don't know. I it's I, not I can't the most get into fun it. Mode. It's, just it's not the most fun. I I agree with it. And there's just no do real, a little bit every day. There's no with point a, with after a, that second time. After the second time, well, I'll through, tell you this: no whatever team does well in the dark dimension is probably going to be a good defensive team in Alliance Wars. So there's a tip, right? Auto and yes, yes, yes. If you auto, if and it's they a do good well, team yeah. on auto in dark dimension, it's probably good in yeah, Alliance that's a, that's Wars. A, that's, Just a good, saying. That's, that's a good test. That is true. That is very true. You could use oh. it to test the defensive squad. See how the auto does. Yeah. How the AI yeah. plays that team. <laughs> Let's talk about Alliance Wars Woo. and. Uh, so we've we played with three, four of them now, and it's been yeah. running. Uh, what is your overall feeling about the game mode in general? I, I like the game mode. I think it's well done. Uh, but kind of like that blitz that we talked about, adding, I mean, not the blitz, the extra raid. It's just mm -hmm. a lot of extra time. And uh, I would wish that they would up the rewards and bring this back to once or twice a week instead of three times a week. Mm -hmm. Because like I was telling you, the, the we did a war on Thursday. It was, it was stressful. The score was very, very close. We were watching it right at yes. the last minute. I was like, oh, this is awesome. Yes. And then I was like, wait a minute. we got to start this all over again tomorrow. And I was like, oh. Right. <laughs> so we started right preparing for that. I'm like, oh, my goodness. So yes, for me, this too was uh, well worth the wait, well executed. I, I think it's highly creative. I have thoroughly enjoyed playing it so far. Losing. Uh, one of the yeah. frustrations, it seems to be a challenge to be competitive if you're down a man. 23 versus 24 has not been fun. Uh, the other thing is, is that um, changing guilds now is nearly impossible. Doesn't uh. seem well thought out. Uh, because right now the best time to swap guilds is uh, after your um, your alliance raid uh, rewards are paid out, which yeah. is going to be like a Monday afternoon or something like that. Uh, but that's going to conflict with Alliance War because yeah. Alliance Force, even though it says it's three times a week, that pretty much means it's running almost always yeah. uh, because, you know, you set your defense and then you have a day worth of attacking. You set your defense a day worth of attacking. Uh, it just seems like it's too much. I, I would prefer to have higher rewards which is always good, yeah. and play maybe twice a week? Or what do you think? I would agree. Twice a week would be good. But yeah, I don't think they thought out the uh, switching guilds. What a pain that is for someone that uh, wants to switch guilds uh, during this time. Because it, it was a pain already for people uh, trying to coincide it with the Alliance raids. And that was twice right. a week. Now they're doing this every week. It's, it's even more painful when you have to switch guilds. So I hope you're already in a good guild. 
because it's yeah it's gonna switching be, it's guilds gonna right now tough. you're gonna miss a lot of things if you switch yeah. guilds it's just not gonna be a good thing uh maybe that's the penalty for switching guilds I, it just seems yeah, not well be, thought though. out it in my opinion be. or maybe it it's be. intentional but yeah. my question to foxnet is when is the optimal time when were you anticipating for us to switch guilds optimally and i just don't think it was even thought about honestly but i gotta tell you the game mode for me is amazing i love it i've had a fun playing it uh, it's very competitive it seems well thought out boy there's a lot of things going on there's a lot of subtleties uh, I'm worried about uh, doing it with two raids and blitz and yeah. alliance wars all going concurrently. My goodness! All right. Woo! All right. Well, now it's time for the giveaway. Oh, yeah, baby. Uh, I really hope you like this video today because if you did, you are in luck. Woo! For every single person that likes this video, you will be getting for free in oh. your account Ooh, an eight star pillow. This oh. is not a scam. And the reason why you're getting uh, a pillow is because you're not going to need a pillow anymore if you're going to play this game. Ooh, good point. Good point. You don't I need like a it. pillow. I you like just it. play this game constantly and you don't need a pillow. <laughs> I like it. I like it. So yeah. I'm giving my pillow away. <laughs> nice. Nice. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I'm so thick. It's <laughs> thick. It's thick in this video, right? Yeah, I know. Uh, but, uh, sarcasm a lie. This it's a great game mode. I I really enjoy it. I like so, it too. Uh, There's a few issues, but that they could iron out pretty easily. But yeah, I like yeah, I like this game. It's mode. it's actually very good. Very very well done. Uh, all right, guys, head over to Valley Flying's channel. We're doing a different video over there that is not just like this video. Very, it's different, very different. Very different, guys. Very different. You gotta check it out. <laughs> and always, uh, thanks for watching and keep on gaming.